Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, my name's Janice. Welcome to the craft store. If you have just joined us, where have you been all morning? Oh, right. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Sorry. Yes. Uh, but it is great to have you company, it really is. Uh, we've got lots in store for you for the rest of the day. We broadcast live all the way through until 10pm every single day. And then we carry on throughout the night on repeat. So there's always something to watch, either on your television set, on your computer, on your smartphone or your tablet. We'll keep you company all the way through. We'll inspire you as well and give you some wonderful ideas and maybe get you into a brand new craft. Now we have the wonderful wee woolly wonderfuls with you. Just glad I got that out of the way. Lisa, how are you? <laughs> Hello, I'm good, thank you. Lovely it's, to be back. It is lovely to see you. Now the last time we saw you here mm -hmm. at, well it was the Hochanda. Now it's the craft store. Yes. Back in December we were saying. That's right, yes. Yeah, I did a Christmas show so we had lots of Christmas items. Um, that was really good. So it's been quite a long time. Yeah. So I'm really glad to be back. Good. Well, it's always good to see you and we've got some lovely characters haven't we in today's show. Yes, quite a few new ones as well. What can we expect in the show today, Lisa? Oh, we have got... Boris, the lockdown lion, yes. which he came with us as a special guest last time, but there wasn't a kit for him. So many people were asking for a kit yes. um, because they wanted to make their own Boris. Yes. So he's now a kit, so we've got him today. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And we've got a new addition, I think, of a rainbow bunny. We have the rainbow lollipop, the rainbow bunny is new as well yes because rainbows everybody just seems to love them at the moment the bright colors cheering everyone up yeah do you so know what? it's, it's nice to bring a, a bit of bright color into mm. your life now we're already busy for said <laughs> bunny already busy for the rainbow bunny so if you do want to get hold of it before i get to that particular part of the counter here's your details 24 pounds and 99 pence 188643 is your item number brand new today you get the whole kit and you also get a really nice pendant don't you lisa as well we'll run you through everything but shall we start here with the new edition of henrietta now you may have seen henrietta before uh, she is absolutely adorable and she's in a special edition color i knew i shouldn't touch anything <laughs> this is how it goes lisa sorry there is chaos um a special edition color lisa yes we have henry the hippo who came with us last time and he's been really popular but we wanted to do something a bit different something a bit special for the craft store yes so we have brought henrietta the hippo and she's in a really pretty colour, watermelon, it's called. Yes. And she's sporting a very nice scarf. She is um, indeed. So she's a special edition, not, not available until today. Oh, for the craft well, she's stars. absolutely delightful. And if you did go for Henry the Hippo last time, or if you want to make a Henry the Hippo this time, yeah, he needs, he needs a, a girlfriend or, or a boyfriend called Henrietta. You know, anything goes, anything goes. Uh, right, £26.99. pence. <laughs> Let's have a look at the kit. So everything you need is included. Uh, you also get a really nice... Now, I did have one. I'll, pi I'll pick it up, actually. You get this lovely bag. Let me just move these out of the way if that's okay uh, because you can pop everything into this bag so that you have everything to hand when you want to pick up and continue crochet or if you're giving it as a gift I think it's really nice to pop everything in this bag and with the bag Lisa you could actually um, decorate this as well could you not yes you could yeah people keep use them for keeping pin badges on um, all sorts of different things you could um, a lot of people use them for project bags. So yes. when you've finished making your, um, your Henry Henrietta, um, you can keep them just to keep all your different projects in. Yeah, so reusable, and it, you know, the cotton. When yeah. everything is in there as well, imagine giving that as a gift. It's absolutely fantastic. But also it keeps everything together, mm. doesn't it, Lisa? Yes. Because crochet is something that you might pick up when you're watching mm. the television or if you've got a mm. spare 20 minutes, for example. Maybe if you're going to work mm. as well, you can take it all with you. Yes, so it's nice and easy, you can just take it all in the bag and everything's in except you just need a pair of scissors. Perfect. We've Perfect. all got those, so it's nice and easy to, uh, to take with you. Now, can we talk about the, the, the yarn you get with mm -hmm. this? Now, um, there's something quite special about this and uh, that's because mm -hmm. it is vegan friendly. Yes. Yes. It is, yes. And why is that so? Um, that is, it's a really nice soft acrylic that we use, yes. um, so there's no animal fibres in it and with the stuffing as well that's a really nice 
high quality ball fibre stuff in that's really easy to use and that's man-made fibres as well Aww. um so it's suitable for a vegan oh you see quite that's, a few of that, our kits that's are. nice mm. isn't it it really is and maybe that's mm. why a few people might not have taken up knitting or crochet mm. because of that reason well now you can so what a wonderful gift and it also has this beautiful little pendant as well so you've got a lovely little charm and each of the kits come with a charm corresponding to the particular kit that you're making so there's your hippo um, now can we talk about ability for this kit lisa mm -hmm. what kind of ability um, of level would you need for this um with henrietta the hippo we'd um she'd be a kit that's suitable for someone who has already done some crochet Yes. Um, so if you'd already made one of our beginner kits, such as the bunny or the giraffe, um, she'd be an ideal second kit because there are video tutorials for the beginner ones, yes. but not for the others. So she, she'd be great. As soon as you've made another, one of our beginner ones, you Aww. can move on to her straight away. Uh, so all of the details, all of the instructions are right there. You'll be able to follow it very, very easily as well. I think that's upside down. Oh, no, it's not. It's the right way around. <laughs> uh, 26 99 There you go. The two patterns in there for you. 105 424 is your item number. Absolutely delightful. So cute, so cute. Do you want to see Boris? <laughs> Come on, then. Come on then. He is so super duper cute. And if we just give his head a bit of a flick up, there he is. Flick it forward. There he goes. He's just, you know, just chilling out. Flick his head back. <laughs> That's his cute face. He is absolutely adorable. And he is a huge size as well. He is. He's, he's the size of a small child. I think a toddler. He's great. He's just, let's just so let's cuddly. Let's just stand him up like this. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh. He's brilliant. Uh, now, our director is saying this is about the same height as his little daughter, which is <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? Uh, it's so cute. Now, his two papers are £22.50. So we'll take the first payment today. Uh, we'll send everything out at the same time. Then we'll take another payment in a month's time. In the kit, there's a lot of yarn in here and stuff in <laughs> yes. isn't there? We have to pack the kits in a certain way, otherwise it won't all fit in. There's so much. Yeah. So it's it's 700 grams of wool. Really? Yeah. How long would and something like this take to make? Um, they take a little bit longer, just because they're bigger, so it's a little bit harder on the hands. But, yes. Um, I'd say probably about six, seven hours. To do Boris? Yeah, it's not too much more than the standard size lion because Six, we just work with three strands. Yeah. Wow, I thought you could say about two weeks. I mean, yeah. it depends how you stretch those hours out. Yes. You could do 20 yeah. minutes a day. Um, you could. But that's a fabulous mm. project, isn't it? Um, you also get your crochet hook as well mm. in all of the uh, project packs. So that's important. And what's the size of this one? That one is an eight millimetre. An eight millimetre. So it's it's great because it works up so quickly. Yeah. You'd expect it, it would take a very long time, but because the wool is so thick and the hook is so big, it works up a lot faster than you'd imagine. Yeah. See, that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> and you also get the little charm as well. So you've got that the lion charm, which is beautiful. So that comes included, which is fabulous. You get the thread that uh, creates the eyes, <coughs> excuse me, and the nose of Boris, and of course the uh, the paws as well, or his fingers in his paws. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you get all of that stuff in to go inside him, and. Uh, because is he's Boris the lockdown bear there's a or, or lion sorry there's a lot of stuff in in him he's brilliant I do love him uh, and the hair as well is this um a special technique this is there's a, there's a good old mane on that well it's been growing you haven't been able to get to hairdressers you see so it's just grown <laughs> so long um it's quite an easy technique and we've we do have a video to show you how to do the mane on our youtube channel so if you're not sure um, there's plenty of diagrams in the pattern, but if you're a little bit unsure, the yeah. video is brilliant because it just shows you step by step. Oh, he's but it brilliant. doesn't actually take too long to do. Put him in up. Put, put him up. <laughs> um, he's fabulous. fabulous. That's not Boris. That's, of course, from The Wizard of Oz. There you go. Uh, 006861 is your item number. Oh, he's just so cute and cuddly. He really is. Uh, right, let's move on because we have got Lollipop the Bunny. Sorry, I'll wait. I'm just so excited. I just want to hop on down. Can I go now? 
I can go now. Uh, here we go. Already uh, busy for this brand new pattern. So super cute. It's the colours as well as the pattern, yes. though, isn't it, Lisa? Yes, I think it is. It's just so bright and colourful. And it's a colour-changing wool, so you don't have to change colours. There's no lots of changing for stripes. Oh, nice. You just use the ball, and it changes as it goes. That's so clever. So each bunny turns out a little bit different, so they're oh. all unique. That's really, really mm. clever. Because I was just looking, thinking, Hmm, how would you interchange and the colours? Mm. But yeah, it, it changes as you go. It does. So you don't need to do that. So it makes it nice and easy. And that's one of our beginner kits as well. Is it really? Believe it or not, yes. Superb. Mm. Right, 24.99, is your item number. Now, if I were to buy some more yarn from mm. somewhere, some more stuffing, could I make another bunny rabbit? But you maybe can. in the colours that I choose... Yes, of course, of course you can, yes. It does tell you in the pattern what we use. So if you wanted to make another one exactly the same, then you can buy some more wool and make another one. Excellent. Um, but you could make it in any Aaron or Chunky wool, um, any colours that you'd like. Oh, yeah. so, so you can make cute. lots and lots of them. And we also have the charm in there as well as your crochet hook. What size crochet hook is with this one? Uh, with that one, it's a four millimetre. Four mil. And Brilliant. a nice chunky wool. And the little charm, it's, it has a hook on it, so you can use it as a stitch marker as oh, well. So right. it marks your place. That's a good idea. Pan, so, so That's a good lost. idea. And you get the bag, and you get the needle, and the thread uh, for... Should never touch anything. Oh, this is so super sweet. I just want to animate them. Um, but you also get the thread as well to make the eyes. So Wee Woolly Wonderfuls, Lollipop, the Rainbow Bunny. That's your crochet kit. 188643 is your item number. Absolutely beautiful. And what I like about these kits as well, Lisa, is for the eyes, we don't have anything that you can actually physically pull off. The eyes are stitched no. on. Yes, they're all, they're all made like that. You can, if you wanted to substitute and put safety eyes in, but we don't because we want them to be safe for children or babies. Yeah. A lot of people make them, you know, for young children. Um, so because everything's sewn on, they're uh, much, much yeah, safer. Much, and much safer. Perfect. And probably Janice safe as well. <laughs> there could be, yes. It's true. <laughs> uh, right, we've got another character for you here. Uh, the unicorn. The unicorn with his little friend. Or it could be mummy and... Uh, I was going to say mummy and daddy, but... Well, it could, it could, it could be. <laughs> it could be, yes. It could be. We all come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. <laughs> Why is that weird that it's mummy and daddy? I don't know which is which. Um, but these are so super cute. £34.98. Uh, will the kit make both of them? Um, yes, we have two different options on the kit today. You can either just go for Rainbow the Unicorn yes. on her own. You can go for the, the little baby unicorn on her own. But why would you when you can get both of them? Yeah. Um, so we have a special offer on today where you can buy both of them together for a reduced price. So, Excellent. So with that one you just mentioned, you get enough materials and the patterns for both of the unicorns. Superb. So. Would you say, as a beginner, would it be better to start with the smaller one or the larger one? Usually the larger one. Really? You wouldn't think so because the larger one is just easier to see all your stitches. Yes. It's, it's easier to work with something bigger. Yeah. So one should make the bigger one, then it's, it's better to go for the, uh, the baby one second. Now, I really like the mane on the unicorns. I think we're going to have a demonstration on this yes, today. Yes, we are. Uh, so that's very cool. Now, thirty-four ninety-eight, saving seven pounds. That gets you the two. Gets you the smaller one and the larger one. Eight five eight nine four zero is your item number. Now, if you just want the large one, or the mummy, or it could be the daddy, uh, the details are on your screen there. Twenty-seven pounds and. Let's just get that tail out the way. There you go. Uh, 8766 uh, 968 is your item number. And if you just want the little one, there you go. A uh, beautiful little thing. And I love that little, see that little, um, it's like a lightning, like a zigzag there. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, £13.99, 340416. And if you want to go for quite a few of the little babies, which you can do, a few of the kits, you'll have a blessing of unicorns. There you go. So you get to choose the small, the large, 
or both of them together to create that blessing of unicorns. Now we've also got some patterns on a pick and mix for you. You can go and have a look. Maybe you've got your yarn at home and your crochet needles already. They are on the website and that's where you can go to. You can choose any four so you can have a look and a peruse. We've got these items here in the studio, or most of them. So if you want to see any of them, please do email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com and I'll show you on live here on the show. But those are your patterns for you to choose from. And again, it's a great deal, isn't it? Any four for 9.99 there you go of course i would go for the foxes definitely in that set uh, right let's head to lisa for a first demonstration what we're going to have a look at right. lisa we're going to show you how to make a unicorn curl so it's the, the little Ooh, curl yes. which is for the mane and for the tail okay. because they look very complicated don't they a lot of people look at them and think that oh, looks a bit hard i'm not sure if i can do that but it's actually really simple so right. i'll show you yes, how to do look. it right so we have our pattern here so I'm going to open it up at the page. A good little trick is to use a post-it note because then you don't lose your place. Uh, yes. I've got that there so I can see where we're up to. And we have our rainbow wool. And this is the one that changes colour as you go along? It is, yes. It just changes as you're working, so makes it nice and easy. So to make our cow, we're going to... We have... We make several different sizes. Um, we have longer ones and shorter ones, and then we just pin them all in place before sewing them on at the end. Okay. Um, so to start with, we're going to make a chain with 25 stitches. Okay. And then I'll show you the trick of how to turn into one of those lovely curls. Yeah. So we're going so to make sweet. a slip knot to start. So we make a little loop with our, our yarn, and then the end that leads to the ball, we're just going to place that underneath and pull it through. So we've made a slip knot. Yeah. And that's great because that's adjustable so we can make it just the right size for our hook. Um, if you're a complete beginner, it is really good to practice a chain because it's such a great way to do a simple stitch and get used to holding the hook and the wool. So it's the easiest thing to do. So to make a chain, we simply wrap the wool around the back of the hook. Yeah. And just hold that here just to keep it in place. And then we're just going to use the end of our crochet hook to pull that through the loop. And that's one chain. Wow. Wanting to have a go now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll just wrap it round again and pull it through. So each one of those counts as a chain. So we're going to do 25. Yeah. Four. I think once you get, get the hang of it, you can, do yeah. it really you can do it quickly, can't you? Of course you can, yeah. Oops. We try and get a full strand together and split it, which I just did, so I just took that out. So wrapping it round. But once you get going, you can see they're really quick to make. And you can make them all different lengths, and there's usually more than enough wool in the kit. So if you want to make lots of extra curls, you can. You can do as many as you want. So we're just making the chain, like so. Now with, with the locks the hair that you've got on the um, unicorns you could use that for other things like like a key frog or something like that yes you could do yeah you could turn them into all sorts of different things yeah. some people use them for hair on on crochet dolls oh that's it makes lovely spiral yeah that's a nice idea yeah if you remember yeah. the 80s with a spiral perm <laughs> oh. these these are much better yeah do remember those days but you can have do the hair on dolls days. you can use them for lots of different things but i think they look great on the on the unicorn just make it a little bit different yeah. now i've completely lost count because i can't talk and crochet so oh, i'm, I'm going to count them sorry, no no don't Lisa. worry i'm just going no no it's, um, I'm just going to quickly count them and see if I've got about the right number. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we've got about the right number. That's fine. If you wanted to know how many you've done, you just count the V's. Each one of those V's is a stitch. All oh, right, oh, nice that's and easy. simple. So what our next instruction is, is we're going to work three double crochets into each of our chains and that's how we get that lovely cow shape so i'm going to show you how to do that so we'll start with the second chain from the hook so we don't use the first one it'd be too awkward to get into that one anyway yep. so we're going to start in the second one and we're just going to do three double crochets which you go in and pull the yarn through and then over the top and pull it through that's this good. is the basic stitch that we use for nearly all of our animals so once you've mastered a few basics, yeah. you can make nearly all of them. There's a okay, few different yeah, techniques, can. but 
it's nearly all the same stitch. Yeah. So that makes it relaxing as well if you're watching the television. Yeah, you can just sit and do them. You're not trying to do something really complicated. Yeah. And so I guess can, it's like mm. muscle memory, isn't it? Once mm. you know, you know. And you yeah. just kind of do it by second nature. Yes. And that's when you see people crocheting and they're chatting mm. with their friends. They're not even looking down mm. at their hands and they're crocheting away or mm. watching the television, for example, yeah. crocheting away. Um, mm. So again, it's that muscle memory, Lisa. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So once, you, once you've mastered that, it's, it's just great because you you're not having to learn lots and lots of new things for each different animal you make. Yeah, yeah, so, true. So now what we're going to do, we've done three double crochets in the first chain. And then what we're going to do now is every single chain all the way along, we're going to do three double crochets into it. So one, yeah. two, three. And if you want to see these stitches in more detail, we have videos for a lot of these on our YouTube channel. So you can watch them back slowly. And so would you can we see find how you on YouTube just by typing in Wee Woolly Wonderfuls? Yeah, you can just type Wee Woolly Wonderfuls on. Into, into the um, I was into say, YouTube. Make sure you have your spell check on, everybody. <laughs> yes, everybody spells it wrong. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be so watching those. You can just go onto that, um, and then we've got lots of different. We've got playlists which show how to do the bunny, the giraffe. Yes. So you can just watch right the way through, right yes. from the beginning. Yeah. And then we've got a lot of videos which are just for individual stitches. Excellent. If you just think I'm not sure what that stitch is, yes. You can go on and find a video for it. Excellent. So just makes it easy when you, especially if you're new to it. Yeah. So we'll carry on doing our three in each. And when you first start doing it, you look at it and think, this looks nothing like a cow. Uh -huh. It's not. It's, it's and, and it's the thread that's changing the colour now. You've not added yes. another thread. No, not at all. So it makes it nice and simple when you're making them. You don't have to mess about changing your colours every two minutes. You're, you just simply keep on working and it does it for you. It's a lovely way to learn as well when you create something that's so cute, mm -hmm. either to keep for yourself or give us a gift for somebody. And I don't think you're ever too old to receive a gift like this. No. We have a lot of people making them for family members. A lot of people make them for children, but I think even more make them for adults. Yeah, but probably. Yeah, probably. they do. It's, it's quite surprising. A lot of people make them and can't bear to part with them, so they keep them all themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They do make nice gifts. They're just something unique rather than the yeah. same, same thing all the time. And the nice thing is once you've got the pattern, you can make uh, another one afterwards. So if you do yes. make it and you get attached to it and think, I don't want to give it away now, um, then you can actually keep the one you've made and then just go and make another one. Yeah, just make another one. You can make as many as you want. Um, and we also allow you to make them and sell them in small numbers as well. Really? So a lot of designers don't, but... We just think that's nice if you want to make a few yeah. yourself. Yeah, oh, that's to, lovely. You, know, you can just make them, make them and sell them as well yeah. if you wanted to with our oh, patterns. That is lovely. Mm. And selling them for charity as well is always a nice thing to do. Yeah, we do have people that make them to raise funds for charities as well, which is brilliant. So we're doing three in each. We're working our way along. <laughs> My goodness, it has come on. Look at that. It has, hasn't it? But it looks doesn't look like a really nice curl so, so it, far, but don't worry, it will. Is it, it will. naturally curling round then, or are you making it curl round? Um, no, it just naturally curls round. It's because we're putting three stitches in each chain. Yeah. There are too many, really. Oh. So it's, it makes it curl. Yeah. That's it fast. It doesn't look very neat, and you think, oh, that just looks like a, a squiggle. It doesn't <laughs> look like a nice, neat curl. <laughs> but at the end... We just do a little magic twist and it turns into a lovely curl. Wow. So you'd make lots of these. These are great for doing when you're watching TV. You end up, you end up making far too many. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good idea, actually, because, you know, if you are sitting watching the television of an evening, it could be your favourite programme. You don't have to watch every mm. single scene or every single um, part of that particular programme. You can just keep glancing down then to make these uh, ringlets would be fabulous because then you've got them ready to go. Because I, I, mm -hmm. you would sew them on to the unicorn afterwards. Yes, yeah. I tend to make them all first and then just put them down the back and just pop pins in and then just sew them on. So you can alter the position, you can change the colours around. That's why we do different lengths because we tend to, to have shorter ones at the top. I love um, the way you just oh. you can pull that out, mm -hmm. Lisa, and then just it just goes back. Yeah, just springs back into shape. 
Is, that, is there any elastic in there that does that? No. Wow. <laughs> Nothing at all. That's just the, the, the fabric in there and the... Mm. That's amazing. See, this is me now. I'm just going to sit here doing this all, all the time. <laughs> Bing! Bing! But they're just so lovely. And on the tail mm. as well. So you can make these and then add them afterwards and you um, sew them on. Excuse me. Just showing a little mm -hmm. bottom there. Um, and then you can sew them on, which is brilliant. And then you've got the little one as well. And I guess the little one, well, they'll take it, 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 no time to make a little no time, time at all. No, they're exactly the same technique, but obviously just, just shorter. But it tells you how many chains to do and how yeah. many to make to get the same effect as ours. But I think a lot of people do tend to make extra ones and yeah. have lots of extra curls in. So I've actually finished. I'm right at the end of my chain now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just make the loop bigger and then I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to leave probably about 30 centimetres yeah. because then it saves us adding another thread on when we're going to sew it on. We'll just use this strand when we're sewing it onto the unicorn. So all I did was put that thread through the loop and pull it tight and that makes it secure so it won't unravel. And then what we do, you look and you think, oh, it doesn't look a very neat curl yeah. at the moment. All we do is go along and just curl it around like this. <laughs> I'm not sure how, why it works like this, but when you curl it around... It's like a telephone wire, you know, when they yes, get... Yes, uh, yeah. It's when they used to get pulled out of shape. Yeah. You just twist it like that. And then it's formed our lovely curl. Look at that. I can't believe how, how quick that? that came together. So that was really, absolutely really quick. nothing, like a few mm. moments ago. Mm, exactly, yeah. so it's really quick, so you can just sit and make different lengths and then you can pin them on, but you can mess about with the position so you can see yes. which colours you want near the front or the top and alter the lengths um, just so that you're happy with it and um, really easy to do. Mm. Yeah, and you could, if you wanted to, you could just use mm. the one and have that as a tail and uh, mm. other animals as well that you could use this for. I think this would look really nice as a mane for a lion. Yes. You know, if you've got lots of these on the go, absolutely fantastic. Mm. Right, your unicorn and baby, if you want both of them, 34 98 That gets you the whole kit and the yarn, which is vegan friendly. You've also got the stuffing in there as well, enough for both. You get your crochet hook, so that's included, ergonomically designed, so that's beautiful. And you also have your pendant as well, which is in the shape of a unicorn. You get your stitch marker, because that will work as a stitch marker. And you also get your needle and your thread to create those eyes. It's a wonderful kit, comes complete with the bag as well. 34 98 858 940 is your item number. You can buy them separately, you can buy the little one on its own, um, or the larger one, or you can buy them both of them together and everyone's going for the complete collection. 858-940 is your item number. Right, you stay there. Now back in stock, a favourite is Sherbet the Giraffe. Let's, should we just stand him up because he is a very tall and proud chappy. There he is. So if I, if I stand him up, you can't even see his head. Look at that. He's that tall. The headless giraffe. There you go. Wait a minute. Here he comes. There he is. Um, actually, some little bells in the top would be fantastic. <laughs> would, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. It looks like he's dancing um, there, doesn't Oh, it? he's absolutely gorgeous. I remember we had, um, we had him in December, didn't we? Yes. He's yeah. always just so popular, but he just... There's something about the giraffe, I think, that people just love him, yeah. just love his character. It, it is a character. You've got a little tail on the back as well. Uh, you get the stuffing, of course, for inside. Uh, we've got the little ears, and I did remember the name of these, but I've forgotten them, but they're the... Ossicones. Ossicones, mm. that's it. Your ossicones on the top. And then we've got these little, they're like roses, flowers. So yeah. does the pattern allow us to do that as well? Yeah, they're just um, nice and simple. It's just a magic circle and they're really easy, quick and easy to make. I try and make them in the different colours. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's got three different coloured ones, but you can actually make lots of spots if you wanted to and cover him. Oh, he is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Now, everything again in the kit is there that you need. You get your crochet hook. The size of the mm -hmm. crochet hook, is it? Four, four millimetres. Four millimetres. Mm. Uh, you get your little charm, which of course is a giraffe, so you get your little charm as well, and you can use that as a stitch marker, so you get everything you need, including your um, cotton fabric 
Is it cotton? What would it it's be? Um, just wool, acrylic. Just acrylic, acrylic wool. wool. Yeah. Um, and that, again, is for the eyes, which, of course, makes it hopefully child friendly mm. because we don't have anything that can be pulled off yes, by tiny hands right. um, so super cute something like this is a gift for somebody you know the rainbow colors you know somebody that's helped you out over the past year or so I think it'd be quite uh, a fabulous gift to somebody to just mark, you know, the, the year that we've been through. 928519 is your item number, £28.99. pences. dancing giraffe is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then another new today is the project bag. Now, this is nice, mm, Lisa. Yes. Yes, we, we like the drawstring ones, but I just, I love the zip ones. Yeah. Because they're brilliant, you can just keep all of your crochet hooks in them, all of your accessories. That's what I use mine for, to keep keep everything together. Yeah, and do you mm. know what, that is so important when you're putting a project mm. together, to have your crochet hooks mm. where you can find them, to yes. have your bits of thread where you can mm. find them, to have your stitch marker where you can find it <laughs> um and it's a fabulous bag as well because you've got the metal zip so you know that you've got that durability to it and it's a really nice shape as well so if i open this up you'll see inside if i just flatten out the bottom um you've got some decent space in there haven't you yes there were lots of different sizes when, we, when i looked at them and i just like the biggish one yeah. <laughs> so you've got the flat bottom as well so you can fit more in you can you can certainly fit quite a lot a lot in there wow now if i just open that let's see what we can fit in here then because we do have that larger bottom so that's mm -hmm. that stuff in but we still have all of that space in there to store so i could then put the yarn in there um i could put mm -hmm. the extra yarn in there my goodness um i could put my crochet hook in there i could put the little charm in there I can put, yeah, I, I, do you know what, I can, put, I, can just, I can put everything in there and then we're just going to have to leave it for someone else to take out. But no, no, just, now, let's see if I can do the zip up. Yeah. And I've still got room for some chocolate. Well, you've got to have room for chocolate as well. Still yes. got room for some chocolate, so there you go. <laughs> and uh, you've got that lovely flat bottom. I really like that. I think that is absolutely fantastic. And then it's very, very easy to get everything out again. Otherwise, I'm going to get told off. So I'm going to get everything back out again onto the counter. But it does go to show that it will fit a lot inside that bag. And I could, it's, it's like a magic bag. Just go, there'll be a bunny rabbit being pulled out um, next, or even a, a giraffe. I love that. £14.99, 107028. Um, even if you're not using it for crochet, it could be for something mm. else. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. She can use them for other crafts as well. Yeah. Just keeping, you know, different projects in, or just all of your tools in that yeah. you use as well. And, of course, when it's for safe lots. to do so, you could mm. always take that away with you as a little toiletry bag. Uh, 107028 is your item number if you want to get hold of your project bag. Let's have a look at the website. Lots of people going for the patterns available. Uh, you can pick and mix any four, mm. um, and you can go through those, and all you have to do is plus... Um, tap, um, Click on plus and that will add. And then if you see something else, you just click on minus and you take that away. So I definitely have the foxes, 100% with those. Uh, what else would I go for? Well, if I've selected the giraffe, yes. Oh, but then the chicks are really cute, aren't they? So then I'll have to take the giraffe out. Unless I want more, um, I'm going to go for the elephant. I want the elephant. Oh, have I picked them all? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> But if I wanted eight, I could always go for eight and the price would just change accordingly. So I went for the elephant. What did I go for? The giraffe, the fox and the chicks. Yeah, that's a good choice. I like that. I'm chuffed with that. Uh, 9 99 That is a great price. It really is. My director was happy with that as well. Uh, right, let's head back to Lisa. What are we going to have a look at now, Lisa? Oh, we'll have a look at another one. We're going to look at... Oh, well, what should we do next? Ah, some sewing up. Oh, yes. Because this is one of the things people say, when I sew it up, it never looks like the picture. I don't know how to do it. It's always lopsided. Yep. It's easy when you know how, isn't yeah. it? But, so we have brought a lion jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> we have got all of these parts that have just been stuck in this bag and the poor lion just wants to be wants to be brought to life. So this is the same pattern as Boris. This is just the smaller version. So oh. you do get this pattern in the Boris kit. Do you think he's hmm? upset because he's in bits? He probably Wee. is. Sorry. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yes, I'm sure I will. Let's watch it doesn't bite me once I put them together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been sat in this bag far too long. So we have, we've already sewn his head on and his ears on. Yes. Um, so we're going to show you how to add the limbs. Now we have got some of our little pins. Okay. Which I think we have got those with us today. Oh, okay. So you can yes. get the little pin set, which is just cute. They're all little hearts, all different colours. Oh, how lovely. Um, I think they might be on an end of course when you go to oh, check out your they baskets. They should be available to you with the little hearts. They could be. They're just really cute. So what we're going to do is on the pattern it does explain exactly where to put all of the limbs because because we like to make it quite easy yes um so if you want to get exactly the same effect as our lion yeah you can just follow exactly and it tells you how many rows down to sew them oh that's shows good. you pictures as well of how to do it um so we're going to pin on his arms always pin first that's a good tip so what we're going to do is grab a couple of pins. Now these are nice long pins as well, so they do hold them quite firmly. So we're going to pin them in position. And what I tend to do is have them, the arms higher at the front than the back because yeah. then his arms are facing forward slightly. Okay. So you could put them level so they're like that, but I quite like them facing forwards. Yeah. So we do them like that. So we're going to pin both arms. But then we're not going to sew immediately. We're going to have a look at them and make sure we're happy with them before we sew them on. So we're simply just popping the pins in. So we tend to put the arms leaving about one, one row below the head yes. for the front. And then the back of the arm is just a few rows lower. So they're facing forwards. Okay. What we'll do is have a look at what that looks like. So I'll just pop that in. So we can see what it looks like. I think, do we like it? Is it even? I think that one needs to be a little bit further back. So you would play with the position until you're really happy with what they look like. See, that's a good idea, isn't Before. it? Just to mm. take your time yes. and position them correctly. Take your time to make sure when you look at it that they look level and that you're happy with the way they look. If you think, oh, it doesn't look quite right, just yeah. move it. Now is the time to do it before you start sewing it on. Yes. So now that we're happy with it, we have left a thread, which tells you to do in the pattern so that we don't have to um, attach new, new wool. We can just use the strand that was left when we finished off making the arm. So we're going to just thread that end onto our wide-eyed needle, which you do get one of those in the kit. Um, and the, the wide ad, so you can get the wool through nice and easily. Okay. And now we're just going to go into the body and then come up through the arm. What we're trying to do is make the stitches invisible. We don't want to sew right across like here, so we've got big long strands. Okay. We want them to be as small and, as, and invisible as we possibly can. So now we've come up through the arm, we're going to go back down and up again a bit further on and then in the end we'll go back through into the body and then up in another position we're just making sure that we've got stitches all the way along but I tend to work backward and forward because you can't do a really tiny stitch and come out very close because yes. his arms are too big <laughs> And once you've done that, you can't, you can't really see that you've joined them on in such a fashion. It looks like you've just crocheted no. them with, in the actual body itself. Exactly. So because the stitches are so small and, and we're just hiding them, you can't see them. But what I then do, once I've sewn across the top, is I lift the arm up and yeah. then we're going to sew across underneath as well. OK. And the reason we do that is just to make sure it's extra secure. If you're making it for a small child, I'd recommend going around a couple of times. Yeah. Simply because they tend to get pulled around by the arm, carried yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Um, so the more secure that you sew it on, the better. So underneath, it doesn't matter as much about being as neat. So I tend to go in and grab a stitch from the arm with the needle and then across into the body. Now, the needle that you're using, is that the needle that comes in the kits that you would normally use for the eyes and the fingers and... Yes, it is, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a much wider eye so you can get the wool through. And you can use this for all of the sewing together, so all the limbs, the facial features, yeah. everything, all the same needle. Okay. 
It just saves you having to root around and find root around and find one. It all comes with the kit. So I'm just doing a stitch on the arm and then a stitch quite parallel with the body. So I'm just going along like so. And we'll go right along. So we've we've sewn the top and we've sewn underneath. So give it a pull, make sure it feels quite secure. And then to finish off, we don't want to put a knot in it, no. but we want to make sure that it doesn't come unraveled because we don't want our arm to start falling off. It's not good. <laughs> so what we're going to do is get our needle and go into the body. And then we're going to come out a couple of centimetres away. Okay. Like so. Oops. It's got stuck. <laughs> got stuck in the stuffing. We're just going to push that back in with the scissors. There we are. And then we're going to go back down the same hole we've just come out of. Yeah. And back out away another couple of centimetres away. Like so. And then we're going to pull it taut and snip it off. And what's happened, because we've done those few stitches, yes. um, all of the thread has got tangled up inside in the stuffing, so it makes it nice and secure. And because we pulled it tight before we cut it, yeah. the ends retracted inside. Got so you. there's no knots, no ends stuck out. So you would never know. We were no, even you there. Wouldn't. <laughs> so that it's sewn on, as you can see. Yep. You can see from there that it's nice and neat, you can't see the stitches, and it's nice and secure. So what I tend to do now is have another look just to make sure we're happy with our pins and to make sure that it's it's yeah. nice and even. And then we'd sew the other arm on the same. See, something like that is so mm. easy. And it, it is quite literally seamless, isn't it? You wouldn't yes. know that you've sewn it on mm. afterwards. I'm just looking at the pattern here for Boris. And inside, you've got some QR codes. And that takes you to your social media sites. Yes, it does, yes. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, or we have a really good Facebook community group yeah and that is just just brilliant a lot of people said it's been a bit of a lifesaver during uh, during oh, lockdown that's because you can join and then what happens is people we do crochet longs so you can join in with those yeah where we um, I post what part of each pattern to do each day yeah and everybody works on the same kit together Aww. and then people post comment a photograph of yes. what where they're up to in the comments um, and then if you get stuck with anything, you can just ask. Oh, get stuck that with that part? Is there a video? And, and there's so many great people in there. They'll all, all jump in and help out. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, you'll notice a couple of decent poses there uh, from Boris himself doing a little bit of bear yoga before he's stitched together or stitched up. Uh, so you've got that wonderful, wonderful uh, Boris in the kit. Huge, big Boris. Shall we pick him up? Shall we pick him up? Are you ready for this? I wonder if he'll go out of shot. There you, you go. Him. Up he comes. Absolutely fantastic. Now, just I'm just it's, it's about the same size as me, and I can give him um, a really good cuddle. It's absolutely fantastic. That on his paw, by the way. I think that's just a that's just a sticker from us. I'll take that off. You don't want you don't want that on your paw, do you, baby? No, no, no. Uh, so he's nice and cuddly. Really, really is. And in the kit, the first payment of twenty-two pounds and fifty pence. Uh, you'll get everything sent out to you at the same time and then we'll take another payment in a month's time and um, Lisa was saying this will take about seven hours to make mm, that's yes, incredible yep. that is incredible and then you'll have big Boris uh, big lockdown Boris is lovely let's just flick his hair again and then flick it back there he is I just think he's absolutely fantastic he's got a little tail as well uh, right let's Put him down, put him down. Uh, right, let's have a look at some of the patterns we've got available for you. You can head to the website. They are a pick and mix. And uh, you can choose any four. So let's go through them for you. Uh, Baby Bunny. Again, should we go for... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll ask Lisa on each one uh, whether it is for a beginner, an intermediate or advanced. So, Baby Bunny, Lisa. Um, Baby Bunny, I'd say that's for someone who can already crochet yes because the smaller ones are um they're a little bit more fiddly yeah um so the if you're a complete complete beginner go for the bunny the big bunny or the big giraffe but once you've made one of those you could make the, the little bunny quite easily oh on that i was just looking around the nice the quick mare you've got them uh, right the <laughs> next one baby bear baby bear uh, beginner yeah. intermediate or advanced um, intermediate again, um, yes. but he's, it's quite a simple pattern. So as long as you've done a little bit of crochet already, you'll be able to make him. 
I'm just I'm just holding this I was gonna actually what shall I go back shall I step back because I might be able to see some of those lovely um, are we getting shall I just go over and get him there he is there he is <laughs> there he is look Tickle, 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 tickle. Uh, okay, next one, let me grab. Oh, it's like, do you know what? It's like a game show, this is. I love this. Okay, the next one is Baby Hippo. Now, Baby Hippo has a little friend with him. He does, he's brought his rubber duck. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> they just got go together so well. well. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, beginner, advanced, or intermediate? Well, again, as, as long as you've done some crochet, as long yeah. as you've just done a little bit of crochet. So if you've made, made our bunny, or you can do some basic crochet stitches. You could make, you could make oh, him. Oh, it's so lovely. Uh, right, the next one, the next one, let's see if we, oh, look, we've got wee kittens. I think we've got those somewhere in the set. Um, I think it's next to the bear. Sorry. They're, they're telling me left and right. I have no <laughs> idea what my left and right is. So I'll perhaps it's, it's the, over, over, over this way, over this way, a bit over. I don't know my left from my... Is that it? Yes, I thought so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, right, I'm going to stay here. So we've got the kitten, you can see there. Now, that is so super cute. That would be really nice for someone that loves cats. Absolutely adorable, because you can do this in all different colours, can't you, Lisa? Yes, yeah, we've got five different kittens, and they're all in the pattern. Oh. So you can make all of them. There's little, that's little Charlie. Little so Charlie. He's, he's got his different coloured paws and nose. He's lovely. He's lovely. So you've got your wee kittens there. The next one is... Oh, the baby elephant. The baby elephant is... Oh, it's over here. Up there. Or have you got, oh, you've got the baby elephant over there. Um, there you go. There's a baby elephant. There you go. Uh, again, someone that's just mm -hmm. starting crochet. Someone, that's, someone that's just started. Yep, it's quite a simple shape. But as long as you can do some stitches, you'll be able to make that little elephant. Right, next up, we've got Baby Giraffe, which I know is over your yes. side as well. Oh, yes. So we've got Baby Giraffe, uh, which is over on Lisa's side. It's like a team effort here today. It's great. We're going left a bit, right a bit, up a bit. There you go. There's Baby Giraffe with those three uh, little round circles mm -hmm. on, which is great. Then we've got my favourite, Baby Fox. Well, they're all at this side. Just, just over there with Lisa. Mm. Yes, 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 all the way. Little baby foxes. Could we make and sell these, Lisa? Yes, you can. You can oh with any goodness. of our patterns. You can make and sell them. Every fox mm. fan in the land. If you know what I'm talking about, grab one of these. Uh, right, next up, we've got baby unicorn. We've seen the baby unicorn uh, with the lovely hair. So you've got the baby unicorn. I'll come back here so you can see this. So you've got your baby unicorn. We had a lovely demonstration from Lisa on that. So that's Baby Unicorn. There you go. Next up, we've got your Baby Lion. So cute. And then you've got Christmas Mice. Christmas Mice are here, I believe. Oh, yes, yeah, a Christmas Mice. It is behind me. It is behind me. There you go, with a little scarf on. Oh, and the no. pattern for that is in there, is it? Yeah, there's a pattern for the hat, the scarf, and a little jumper. The one over here has got a jumper on. So oh, you can make little... all different accessories for your little mouse. Oh, and they're not just that's... for Christmas. You they can make are. them for any time of the year. So super cute, Lisa. <laughs> so super cute. Uh, next up, next up, next up, we've got Baby Reindeer. Now, Baby Reindeer is... Uh, sorry. I'm just so excited. Let me go, Baby Reindeer. Yeah! Now tell me that's not cute. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? The little red nose as well. Oh, that is so gorgeous. That's your um, little reindeer, your baby reindeer. Then we've got baby chicks. Baby chicks are over with Lisa. Baby chicks on the... under the giraffe, over that side. There you go. We're slowly but surely zooming in. There's baby duck. I feel like singing that song. I know I'm not allowed to. Baby duck, 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 duck baby duck. Uh, we've got baby bear. Have oh, we seen bear? Oh, I'm back to the beginning. I'm back to the big. I'm back to the beginning. Sorry. I just. I just want to keep going. Uh, so those are the options for the pick and mix. They're all absolutely fantastic, and you can make, create, and sell 
from the pattern. So I'm sure you've got some wool or yarn at home. You can start making these characters. You know when they're all together, Lisa? That's when they look really nice. You know if you've got a little basket at home or somewhere yes. to put these collections? Yeah, and just pop them all in a basket. But anybody who comes round will be trying to take them home. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants to adopt them. Oh, they certainly do. And then you can give them your own names as well. Right, let's head back to Lisa for another demonstration. Mm -hmm. We've got about seven minutes left, Lisa. What are we going to have okay. a look at? Right, we're going to show you how to sew on eyes because that's another thing that people struggle with a little bit yes oh, she doesn't want to sit up um, so there's certain things that people I often get people asking me about and we have actually put together recently a top 10 tips have you so that's something to help help people who are learning just lots of different tips like which is the front of your work and which is the back yes um, all different things that are great and anybody who orders today is going to get a free copy of our top tips Oh, really? So they will Ooh. get that in their order. You don't need to add anything to your basket. I don't think that's done separate any order. It will just come. You will in. get a copy of our Excellent. free top ten tips. So oh, it'll just I give you some extra How pointers. So we're just going to use a strand of the black wool, which comes with the kit for this. We're just going to pop a knot in the end, and on the patterns, it does tell you exactly where to place the eyes because we want to make it. As easy as we can. Yes. Um, so we're just going to aim for two, two rows up above the muzzle, and we're going to go in. Could you turn a little that bit away. just towards the Ooh. camera? Um, oh yes. If you, this if way. You, if you go the other way, that's it. Keep coming round. Keep going. This way. Yeah. Could you do it? <laughs> Is that yes. all right for you? Of course we can. So we're just going to go in a little bit away in between a gap, and we're going to come out where we want the base of our eye to be. So we're just going to go in like that. And then you will see our little knot disappear yep. inside. So there's nothing visible on the outside. And then the eyes, can we see that okay? Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, two rounds high, two or three, whichever you prefer. And we're just going to do a few vertical lines on top of each other like so. And you can do as many as you want, three or four works best but if you'd like the eyes a little bit bigger you can add a few extra. I suppose you could add some eyelashes if you want to. <gasps> yeah some yeah. of ours have got eyelashes like the unicorn she's yes. got eyelashes. Yes they have I'm just going to grab that mm. and bring that. With the giraffe we tend to do the little eyebrows because it just looks oh, so cute. Eyelashes. So we'll come up just away once we're happy with the size of the eyes Aww. we bring our needle back up where we want our next stitch to start. So a little bit higher and then we're going to sew down like so, that's for the eyebrow and then we're going to come out where we want our second one to be. If you're a little unsure and you think oh it's, it's a bit tricky getting these eyes right, you can actually pop pins in, so you can pop little pins to mark the top and the bottom Yes. and then have a look at it and make sure you're quite happy with with the positioning first. Could you do one eye and then the like, and then take the needle out, cut the thread and then do the other eye or would you always mm. connect them together? Um, I would always do them together. Would you? But you could if you wanted to do it that way but you may as well just come up where you want your yeah. next one to be yeah. and do it that way. It just saves you reattaching your thread all the time. So now we're going to do another eye here. Oops. So a few stitches on top of each other again like so. And then we'll add the little eyebrow, so we're going to go in here. So we're going to come out where the eyebrow starts. As it does explain exactly where to put them in, there's close-up pictures in the patterns as well to help. Okay. And then we'll go back down where we want the eyebrow to stop. But if you're not happy with your positioning of your eyes when you've finished, you could just snip them out with your scissors and redo them and yes. just keep going until you're happy because it gives them the character. So if you, it's worth doing them a couple of times if you think, oh, it's not quite right, I'm not yes. quite happy with it, do it again because it just makes the character. So yeah, you can like see you say, the eyes. If, if you go wrong, you can just take the thread out and start again. Yeah. You've not damaged the crocheting at all, no. have you? No, you haven't. So you can see the eyes there and the little eyebrows. <laughs> So once we're happy, it may be a little bit lopsided because I couldn't, <laughs> I was working on the other side. But, but you know what, that adds to the character, cute. doesn't it, Lisa? I do look at that. It looks yeah. really sad. It looks a bit sad, this oh. one, I think. Oh, oh no, no, 
now it looks. Oh, now it looks sad. We'll have to raid the kitchen and get some biscuits out. That works. The yes, giraffes I think, are addicted to biscuits. I think we need biscuits. Yeah. And giraffe needs biscuits as yes, well. Yes, and then it'll be really happy. <laughs> so to finish our thread, we do it the same as before. So we go back in the same hole that we've gone out of and come out a couple of centimetres away. And then go back down the same hole again and come out a couple of centimetres away. And then pull our thread and cut it. Simple as that. So we can get eyes on within a couple of minutes. Oh. Look, Look at, at Sherbert. Uh -huh. Oh, he's so lovely. Lizzie is. He's sweet. You just want to cuddle, don't you? Just... Oh. <gasps> now, the pattern you get and the kit will create <laughs> Sherbert in a rainbow colour, and mm -hmm. you don't need to change the threads. It's just one thread that's variegated, and then that will change colour as you make and create, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to make another Sherbert afterwards with your own uh, yarn then you can do so you can think about different colors in that way the whole kit and caboodle 28 pounds and 99 pence 928519 is your item number now the best-selling kit has been the unicorn really? yeah mm. the set of two you can buy them separately you can get the larger one on its own the smaller one on their own but most people are going for the duo the dynamic duo 34 pounds and 98 pence you get everything in the kit to make both including that bag and that great uh, stitch marker as well which you can use as a charm if you want to 34 pounds and 98 pence you'll also learn how to make these beautiful ringlets for the hair they are amazing and really quick and convenient and easy to make absolutely beautiful 858 940 is your item number and it also comes in that project bag as well so you'll be able to gift that or just keep everything together you've also got all the wadding you need as well but most importantly you do have the pattern booklet and with the pattern booklet of course you can then continue to make and create don't forget our pick and mix which is on the website we've got a whole variety get them the right way up Janice a whole variety of patterns available for you that's a pick and mix on any four we'll bring the details up it's 9 at 99 4 9 6 8 1 4 we are rapidly getting to the end of the show lisa i can't believe it's the end already where did the time go it's really quickly you feel an hour's a long time but it's not it's no. not it just goes so fast uh, well, thank you very much for coming in. I know you've got a drive back up to Hull, so do drive yes, carefully. I will do. we do. know when you're back? Um, no, we haven't booked yet, but I'm um, keen to come back. It'd be lovely to come back. Lovely. Lisa, thank you so much, and thank you for all thank your you demonstrations much, and great tips as well. Uh, do check out your baskets, and we'll see you guys after the break.